Hey everyone, it's Alex Ortiz. We're on a quite foggy day today here in Pinole Valley High, but behind me is Environmental Academy students at a waste audit. So let's find out what's the, what they're gonna do today. Make sure they're all in the right place. This is so behind me, Academy students are putting aprons and gloves on so we can get into our ordinary class trash and start separating the trash so we can be just wait this should have been recycled or composted or it should have been on the waste and so we're putting on these stuff for health issues so we can stay fresh during the whole school day okay after we finish this and we have the students have, have taken the data we're going to use the information to, to try and run a campaign in the school and what we'll be doing is, is trying to educate the rest of the students and the teachers as to what can and cannot be recycled, as to how much recyclable material is getting thrown in the trash, and attack that problem first. So the first thing we want to do is get more people to recycle what can be recycled, and then the second part of it is going to be to try and get them to reduce the amount of trash. So we found these two perfectly good sandwiches and uh, they're probably like two days old and they should have like, you know, either gave it to another friend that was hungry or took it back home. You know, you can't really throw perfectly made sandwiches in a trash can. It's just, you know, it's, can't do that, you know. <laughs> um, I don't think the students do a good job of uh, putting uh, recyclables in like their certain places because uh, a lot of it's just like, it's just all careless, like they'll throw it on the floor, or if it is a piece of paper, it'll still be considered trash to them. Like they don't really understand like the uh, reason why we recycle, and that's one of the bigger problems. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, huh? Okay. Styrofoam across the board, it's, um, it's a pretty evil material in the sense that it can't be recycled and definitely goes straight to the landfill, um, no matter what form it takes. So whether it's um, for a coffee cup or a other hot beverage or just a little clamshell container like this, it automatically goes to garbage. Um, We're finding plastic-like cheese from our pizza that we eat on a daily basis. I don't think that should be And apples, just play perfectly good apples thrown away and green stuff everywhere it's just not right so in Pinole at least from what I found the recycling guides online and um, you can only recycle plastic bottles one and two um, but every city and every district and every county is different and depending on your waste service provider um, other numbers can be recycled and other containers can be but today we're just recycling um, plastic bottles one and two and any other form of plastic would go to landfill this is it's right there is that a fog Looks like a five. So if it has a number one or number two, like here in this container, it's recyclable. But if it has something like a number five, it's not recyclable. Take your own cup to Starbucks next time. Oh, we have a one. We have a one with some yogurt. Mmm, yogurt. So you gotta know what can be recycled in your community, and you gotta check the numbers. So depending on where you live, um, please go online and check RecycleMore.com to get a recycling guide. And if you're in Alameda County, uh, go online and check out StopWaste.org for a complete list as well. Uh, what I hope to get from this lesson is to help other students um, uh, learn what to recycle, like finding out like what trash is, like what people com often confuse as trash, which is recyclable. So I hope to like take those items and just hope that those people will recycle them in the future. So it turns out that we were throwing a lot of recyclables into the landfill. All we need now is to teach students how to separate recyclables and non-recyclables. It's not hard at all. If I can do it, you can do it.